guys, hopefully you can see me in here. I've got my garlic that I had sitting out and uh, decided that just one day is gonna be enough to set it, just leave it outside for a while, just to let it dry up a little bit to get some dirt off it. We are supposed to have some rain tonight that I didn't realize, and then tomorrow more rain. So I don't wanna leave these out in the rain now that they're up out of the ground. I wanna get these in under cover, but still be able to dry and get, let the air circulate around them. So I'm gonna be using this dryer that we have. Scott bought this, oh, two years ago maybe off Amazon. If I can find the link to it, I will put it down in the description for you to check out. Um, but it's got these little pockets here. It's made out of mesh. The floor, the bottom's mesh. The whole thing is mesh except for the top. The, the front side, the whole thing is made of mesh, except for the top. So um, it's got all these zipper compartments. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight compartments. I've got it kind of tucked up so it will hang straight, kind of level for me. And I'm gonna put these garlic into the top two, I think will be all right and kind of spread it out so that they can dry and the dirt can fall off them. Uh, and then I'll come back after a little while and, and get and clean them off a lot better than what they are. But I did a lot when I was cutting them and taking the roots off. So I went up back out in the garden, took my basket. I placed the basket in the middle and I just ripped off the roots because my scissors are not very good as far as cutting the roots off. But um, I ripped off the roots by hand and then cut them off with my scissors, cut the, the tops off with my scissors and put the garlic into the basket and just kind of wiped them off with my hand a little bit, trying to get break off some of that loose dirt. Um, there's still some stuck on there, but I've got some pretty good sized, pretty good sized um, garlic. Now in looking back at the, bog I'm gonna say it's Bogotar garlic. Uh, I actually looked it up after I dug it up and thought, geez, these are awful small compared to a lot of ones that I've seen. Uh, and it could be because, you know, I grew them in my own backyard garden. Um, but I'm thinking that it is because, I'm not thinking, I know because I looked it up, Bogota garlic is smaller than most garlics. It's actually the hotter garlic that you can buy or maybe even the hottest garlic you can buy I can't remember if it was the hottest or more hot than most um, can't exactly remember how they described it but it's supposed to be small it says up to five centimeters which is almost two inches um, and so I would say these are pretty darn pretty darn right on for the most part now I'm gonna take, I'm thinking, I'm not positive, but I'm gonna take, I've got a few of these bigger ones here. I may dry them out uh, and not use them for any cooking whatsoever. I may keep them and use them as seed, seed garlic if we really like it, which I don't see why we won't, but uh, we haven't tried it yet. But I do have several garlic in here that are bigger that I could definitely use they're not huge by any means, but um, they're pretty healthy looking. These are all, I think all of them came up. They may be a little tiny, like this guy here, but they all came up as far as I can tell. Um, and they're all pretty, pretty good looking garlic. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just start sticking them in these holes so that they can dry out. I'm gonna stick them in and then just kind of spread them around. Just let them do their thing.
I'm just gonna close, zip this up so nothing can get in there. Zips up nicely. And so whenever I come outside, which is several times a day, feed, water the chickens, whatever, I'll just come and give them a shake couple times a day that'll move them around a little bit get the airflow so that they're not hitting on each other and getting wet spots and and whatnot so that should work pretty well just do that um, a little bit every day a couple times so that's it now it's wait I'm just gonna do that for the next few weeks I've got a few um, onions that may be ready to get put in here. I did cut the tops off of these so that they would fit in here a lot better. I probably could have fit them if I used the whole thing and laid them in with the tops, but I don't really need them. Um, I think they'll be all set now. So uh, it's mostly just to hang, I think, is what you use the tops for. If you're going to hang them from like a uh, you know, a nail or something, if you're going to tie them up, and which I'm not because I have this. So this works just fine. Um, and so again, I'll link this down if I can find it. I'm pretty sure I can. Should be in our history of ordering it. Um, and I'll link it down if anybody's interested in doing something like this. It's This is good for herbs, onions, all kinds of stuff. We use it for all kinds of stuff. So um, if you are interested, it doesn't take up a lot of room. It is pretty tall. I don't know, it's probably five five feet tall if you were to stand it up next to me. But, um, you know, if you have a place to hang it up overhead, it should work fine. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And have a great day.